Joining us now is Dave Young, Chief Operating Officer at Northfield Medical. He's been in the healthcare industry for over 25 years in various leadership roles and has been with Northfield for the past three years. Dave, you and I know each other quite well, and I'm excited to have you on the show today to talk about Northfield Medical as we kick off your focus hour of SPX 2020. Yes, thank you, Justin. It's great to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity you've given Northfield Medical to share some information with all the SPX 2020 Virtual Expo participants. So, Dave, why don't you start by giving us an overview of Northfield Medical? I know there's been some positive advancements over the last three years, and I'd like you to introduce the organization to our audience. Yeah, Northfield Medical is a fantastic company. I've been here for three years. We're now the largest completely dedicated repair and maintenance provider for surgical equipment in the U.S. And just to clarify the equipment repair, so the listeners know, it's primarily flexible and rigid endoscopes, stainless steel surgical instrumentation, and other surgical instruments like laparoscopes, powered equipment like drills and saws, as well as camera and video equipment that's used in the OR. And we've been growing quickly over the past few years. I think what makes us unique is we are completely focused on one thing. And that's helping our customers to extend the safety and the useful life of their surgical equipment. We don't have salespeople out there trying to convince hospitals to buy new equipment. We don't have any competing priorities. We just focus on delivering the highest quality repairs and making sure that hospitals take good care of their capital equipment and get the most out of their spending budget. The last thing I'd mention is that we've become a pretty sizable company over the years. We cover the entire United States. We've got eight national repair centers and 15 regional labs throughout the country. And within those facilities, we have over 275 expertly trained repair technicians. And we also have over 250 field-based sales and service folks that are in and out of hospitals every day. We also have over 130 mobile repair vehicles across the country. So all in all, we perform repair and maintenance services at about half of all hospitals in the U.S. today. Yeah, you really do have extensive national coverage. That's fantastic. As we tee up the focus hour on SPX, I want to talk more about the featured products and services at Northfield. Yeah, you know, I'll take one quick step back and I'll just say there's two key reasons that our company is doing so well. Number one is quality. For those listening out there, if you worked at Northfield, you would see that all of our employees, including myself, are brainwashed to focus on quality, right? Nothing is more important than that. Our product is our service. And the training of our employees, the parts that we use, the testing and the objective measurement, our ISO 1345 certification, our absolute number one focus is about quality. The second reason we're growing, and this is kind of what we're promoting right now in the industry, is our Northfield service agreement. This is our primary differentiated feature from other repair companies in the industry. So this Northfield service agreement, it's a fully capitated program. And that means that our customers just pay a fixed monthly amount for all of the necessary repairs on a specific and identified inventory of equipment. And Northfield takes on the risk for any excess spend or needed repairs. So this program, what it does is it really simplifies the repair process because you're dealing with one supplier, and repairs are immediately turned around. There's no need for approvals and multiple purchase orders. In the end, the program saves customers money, which I know is especially critical now as hospitals are working through the COVID-19 pandemic. And, you know, if you think about it, in the past, a repair company made money by performing repairs, right? And the problem with this was that a bad day for the hospital where many devices were damaged was a good day for the repair company because incentives weren't aligned between the hospital and the repair company. And this isn't good for the customer. The real goal should be to reduce your overall spend. And one of the most significant ways to do this is to reduce the need for repairs. So basically, you gotta stop breaking stuff. And with the Northfield Service Agreement, our field territory managers that we have all around the country, they provide hospitals with in-servicing and in-house education. We perform preventive maintenance inspections, and we use our customized IT platform to monitor the hospital's equipment and the repair trends to identify areas for improvement. So in the end, we save hospitals money by not only providing high quality, 
cost-effective repairs, but by reducing the need for repairs. We're putting our company on the same side of the table as the customer. And because of this, we've got many hospitals moving away from doing high-priced repairs with the original equipment manufacturer or some of our competitors and locking in lower costs with our service agreement program. And by the way, customers that migrate to our service agreement, they're typically saving about 20% or, or sometimes more on a relatively large spend category. So the dollar savings can be significant. Dave, I love the transparency and alignment with the customer's goals. What an effective way to build trust. Why don't you tell us about the content that we're about to see over the next 60 minutes? Because I know that everything that you just said about reducing the number of repair occurrences lines up well with the content that you have for the audience. Yeah, so today you're going to hear from Mike Matthews. He's our Director of Training and Education, and similar to what I mentioned previously, the goal of today is to share insights as to how healthcare workers can better prevent damaging some of the most expensive equipment that's used in the OR. And in the case of today's two CEU programs that we've got, we've chosen flexible and rigid endoscopes to focus on. So those will be the two CEU programs. And Mike's going to review common sources of endoscope damage, some best practices to avoid the damage. And as a special little add-on, we have these nice giveaways for today's participants. They're uh, damage and prevention audit forms that I think your audience is going to appreciate being able to download and use at their own facilities after Mike's talk. Yeah, the content is going to be great. The other thing that I love is that Northfield has an active LinkedIn account, and this content will also be shared there. You can go to northfieldmedical.com, and speaking of social media, you can also find Northfield on Facebook and Twitter. Dave, you and your team have done a nice job of organizing some useful content for SPX and our followers. I just want to thank you for joining us for the virtual conference. Of course, Justin, thank you for inviting us. Thanks for creating this Beyond Clean platform. Like many of the other important industry organizations out there, it's helping to spread good info and improve the quality and efficiency of healthcare across the country, so thank you. All right, everyone, coming up next are two webinars lasting just over 20 minutes each on rigid and flexible scopes, reviewing the damage prevention audits and showing you how to use them. There'll be a short message from Northfield in between the two webinars, and then at the end of the focus hour, you'll be able to download the audit forms and begin using them in your facilities today. A reminder to visit the webpage northfieldmedical.com and follow them on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And now, Northfield Medical's focus hour on SPX 2020.